Welcome to MB Tour Reviews. Today on the channel I have an unboxing for you of this, the CK T1260 automatic cable and wire strippers. So taking a look at this, um, as I said this is from CK, a German tool manufacturer mainly for electrical tools. These are a pair of automatic wire strippers which have a range of 0.75 millimeters to 2.5 millimeters for individual conductors according to the packaging and a maximum size of 12 millimeters a little bit hard to see that I'll take out the packaging there and you see it says maximum 12 millimeters so let's take a look at the tool um, it's a plastic made tool, plastic handles, plastic arms, and then a metal head on both sides with the grippers inside. So it's quite lightweight. It does feel quite cheap, if I'm being honest. Uh, and it's not cheap because these cost £51 from Amazon and they can range up to 97 pounds these are very similar to the quick wire cable strippers which i believe are made from a uk manufacturer who also provide junction boxes for lighting so these are predominantly a flat cable stripper so this is the first time i'm using them and i'm going to test it out on a couple of pieces of two core and CPC or twin and earth cable. I'm going to do 1.5 and then 2.5 millimeters. Okay, so first of all, we have the 1.5 millimeter twin and earth, and you just push the cable through, push down on the handles and it pulls the outer sheathing away from the inner conductors. And you can pretty much do that to whatever length you want. However, because this end here is a bit raggedy, it's a little bit difficult to get off. If it was a clean snipped piece of cable, it would probably be a bit easier to get off. And you can pretty much do that to any length you want by just pushing the cable all the way through the handle up until you've got your conductors at the right length. Then once you've stripped your conductors, like I did a second ago, keep them in the same position and then push down the handle again. And there you have your conductors exposed, ready for termination. That was nice and smooth. Uh, it was pretty effortless. Now I'm going to try with the 2.5 millimeter. And again, that was easy enough. I stripped that quite a distance from the front of the cable, from the end. It is a little bit to, uh, difficult to pull the outer sheet thing off when you're going this far down the conductor. A little bit of a wiggle and it comes off. And now I'll clip the ends for termination. They come off nice and easy. And there they are, ready. So For a first look at this tool, I'd say I'm quite impressed. It is quite expensive, obviously, but if you're doing a lot of flat cables, this could be quite efficient rather than individually cutting all of the outer sheathing off of the cables and then the inner sheathing. You could do it all pretty much at the same time. In comparison to using normal side cutters or various other methods, I'd say these are a pretty good tool to have. I have had other automatic wire strippers in the past and they were also very good 
I will say the fact that these are flat cable only um, is a bit of a downside. Obviously when you're using round cables, this is not effective. So therefore you have to weigh up whether you are gonna get the money's worth out of this tool. Also lastly, something to note, that I read on the packaging is that this tool is not to be used on live conductors. I'm pretty sure that's obvious to most people, but for anyone watching this who's not aware of that, this cannot be used on live cables. Uh, it's for dead circuits only. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing. I'll probably do a review of this in a year or so to see how well it's holding up, obviously with its plastic body and see how well the teeth are holding up to regular use. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If this video was of some help to you, please give it a like. And if you have any questions about this tool or any other tool, please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. And please remember to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. <music>